this is day one of making a new serum, well, cure for any virus, anything that affects the human life. Not only that, but it's also expanding the human life. Since the pandemic of the coronavirus and all the other pandemics like the Zika, the Ebola, we are making a cure, sort of like a cure, that's a serum, that could cure almost anything. It could cure almost any disease, even cancer. So this serum, we are hoping to not only cure a disease, but also expand human life. Okay, so we finally came up with the serum and we just put it into the patient. It doesn't seem to be an effect yet, but any time now, probably close to five, uh, five seconds or a minute or anything, but I just hope that the serum really works. But like I said before, the serum is supposed to take away any disease and also not only that, expand the life span of a human. Code blue, code blue, code blue, code blue! The patient responded. She's not responsive. She's what in the AED is that? Dead. DOA. DOA. Turns out the patient has died. And. I don't know what happened. It seems like he probably put like a wrong chemical to make the patient die even faster. <laughs> or same thing, but. We got the patients under control and we got some of them controlled and it seems like they're scared by a taser. So it 
turns out this virus has spread it and now it's all over the news just from one person um but they well it bit my doctor and somehow she turned just like her so she's I guess she's dead but I'm still trying to look for a cure I'm still trying to find and work on this cure not only me but the people that are with me too and I'm working hard for this because I know this is my fault Dr. Cruz let's move these bodies alright I gotta So after two years, we finally came up with not only one, but two, two cures, possible cures. We are so close, but I hope that at least one of these work. I'm praying to God. What are the cures called? So this is Sapocoronamyphene, AKA the shoe virus. We're gonna use that to um, pretty much counteract the coronavirus, and then we got over here, Vapocornomyphene. This is what we're gonna codename the Viper prototype. So this is an experimental drug that we got in uh, got in uh, last year, and we've pretty much been uh, finagling with it and uh, you know trying to approve it as much as possible. Okay. So we're gonna try to see which. My God, it worked. It we worked. Team, we found we the found cure. cure. Let's go. Woo! Yes. <laughs> All right. This calls for a party. Although no one official is prepared to comment, religious groups are calling it Judgment Day. There's panic on the streets of London. As an increasing number of reports of serious attacks on people who are literally being eaten alive. A witness reports are sketchy. One unifying detail seems to be that the attackers in many instances appear to be dead excited to have with us here a sensational chart topping or ideological connection between those committing the atrocities and perhaps more alarmingly there's a girl in the garden 